Hello everyone. Today I will tell you how to set the parameter of FN user FBE to hundred encode for live on YouTube. The FN user FBE to hundred encode supports three IP stream output. Each output can be different resolutions. These three streams all support the IP protocols output of RTSP, HTTP, RTMP, and add. It also supports VLC decode. For more details, please see my video. Now, let me show you the parameters we need to adjust in the FA user FBE200 decode. If you want to lie on YouTube. First, let's go into the background of the FBE200 encoder. Its IP address is 192.168.10.1.1. And then we need to enter a code and password. They are all admin. Okay, they are in the background of the FN user FBE200 encoder. It has five interfaces. Status, network, medium, access, and system. Back to the point. If we want to have a live broadcast, the live website is indispensable. We need to put the website here. And now, let's get him on YouTube. Send your YouTube. Click Go Live. And if you want to use the camera for live broadcast, you can choose webcam. If you want to play your video, you can choose stream. Okay, now let's take a look at stream. Let me fill in title first. When coming, the URL and password we need will pop up. URL and key. It should be noted that YouTube is a little different from other live platforms. Its URL link is separate, which means that we need to put live website and live code together. Let me show you. Copy this URL and add backlash character. Return our YouTube. Get live code. Put in behind the backlash character. Now, it is full link. Not, don't forget to click setup. The hint, reboot the bus. So, we need to set up system. The reboot button is here. It's worth nothing that no matter what changes you make, you should go back here and reboot the FN user FBE 200. Okay, now, Let's go to status. All data information will be displayed here. You can see that there are three RTMP messages here. That you can use the FN user FBE 200 encoder to broadcast your video in three platforms at the same time. Here is the complete URL we just copied. And look here, video will be shown here. Next gen, S gen, and third gen. And here, interrupt com displays the total data of the video input. Because the video data will gradually increase with the playing. Now it is zero. And let me refresh. You can see that its data will grow. First. If it doesn't grow, there is something wrong with your video input. Okay, it is normal. Let's go back to YouTube. Because of the strict network control in China, we can't show you the following steps, but you can try according to the previous teaching. If you have any questions, please pay attention to my YouTube and leave a message at the bottom of the video. Okay, now 
Let's get back to the point. Look here. Here you can preview the live broadcast of your video. When the video is no problem, you can click here to start the live broadcast. Then your live broadcast will start. But if you don't think your video is clear enough, fluent enough, or lacking something, you can go back to the background of FN user FBE to have your record. Let's go to media. Here you can set the parameters of video output. You can set the value of the video here. If you think it is too big or too small. And this is audio encoder. You can choose it according to your video format. Here you can upload the logo, which will be displayed in your video. It should be noted that the style of logo displayed in the video is related to its actual size. So you need to debug the logo. Here you can control the location of the logo and you can control the video mirror, flat or mirror and flat. Not all models suppose both H264 and H265 at the same time. You can choose the corresponding one based on your need. If you want to support the RTMP, you should choose the best LAN profile. H265 only supports best LAN profile. Resolution Adult FN user FBE 200 encoder supports simultaneous live broadcast of three platforms. The main stream has more resolution rights to choose. FPS depends on your output resolution. It comes exactly with the input frame rate. Otherwise, the image will appear to have dropped frames. We advise you to set 25 or 30 FPS normally. If you set the resolution to 1280 with 720, the FPS should be lower than 50. In order to stabilize your video output, we usually choose CBR. It can make you test and BMP on your video. And if you need set S string and third string, please reference setting like max string. The UDP mode has out 100 amps, 10 amps. Some IPTV STP has only 100 amps in the net bandwidth. I recommend out and the FN user FBE to hamjo encode will change the data according to the real time rate. And if you need to set S string and first string, please reference setting like max string. However, it should be noted that the main RTMP is main RTMP is working for different color platforms. Don't set same RTMP address to main RTMP S RTMP third RTMP. Finally, when you change the parameters, don't forget the two buttons. One, set up. One, reboot. That's all about this video. If you are interested in this FN user FBE to have your encoder, you can go to FN user's official website www.fnuser.net to purchase it. Of course, if you have any questions, you can leave a message in the comment area, and I will reply to you in time.